Hi, right, I'm Adam with AdvancedDimensions.com. I'm going to do a short video to show you how to do a horizontal scan using the Leica 3D Disto with Leica's software. This is the uh, default screen that we're looking at from the software. On the side here, there's a whole bunch of icons. We've done some other videos to get us to this point. Uh, we've established the orientation of the drawing. We've uh, also secured some location points. Uh, and now I want to do a horizontal scan of the corner of the room that we're looking at in the camera. So on the side, on the right side, there is a whole bunch of different options here. I'm going to go to the automated scan option. And it gives me two, two choices here, a linear scan, which is in a line, either vertical or horizontal, and a grid scan. For this one, I'm going to do the linear scan. It asks me a few different options. Uh, do I want to do it horizontal, vertical, or at a slope? Uh, two things to note about the horizontal and vertical. Uh, if I pick horizontal, it'll actually keep that line level. If I keep, pick vertical, it'll keep that line plumb. And if I pick slope, it'll. if I pick a point on one plane and a point on another plane, it'll actually draw a line between those two. So. I'm going to do horizontal, and it always and it comes up and says, "Do you want to pick the first point?" And I'm going to zoom out from the last point that I was, and just pick a point on the blue wall, and it gives you the option to uh, pick a secondary point in the middle, or scan to the right, or scan to the right, or scan to the uh, left. So I'm going to scan to the right because I want to pick up the corner. Now it asks you for spacing. This is really nice if you wanted to do uh, if you want to do a countertop template or something of that nature that needs a little bit more accuracy. You can dumb this down to uh, a half an inch every increment. Or if you're doing something that's more uh, like a wall that you don't necessarily, it's a straight wall, you just want to kind of get an idea every 12 inches, 16 inches, 14 inches, 24, whatever you need. Um, or you can do uh, a custom scan as well. So I'm, for this scan, I'm going to do every one inch. And it's automatically adjusting for, for level right now, and it's going to just start scanning every one inch. When I get closer to the corner, I'm going to pause it and change it to a half an inch scan interval and that'll pick up any deviations within the corner. So I'm going to pause it and it asks you if you want to change the scan interval, which I do. And I'm going to pick half an inch and select OK. And now it's changing to a half an inch interval. Up at the top here you can see that it's uh, if there's any deviation with that half an inch it will give us uh, it'll tell us, you know, plus or minus a 30 second or something like that. That's not necessarily the accuracy. That's more just the distos, you know, trying to, it's doing its best to keep it at half an inch. So now I can pause it again, change the scan interval to one inch. And now it's going to start scanning at one inch. Once we get past this corner a little bit, I'll pause it. And we'll be able to take a look and, and we'll take a look at what it looks like. And now I'm going to skip the rest. When I skip the rest, it asks me if I want to edit the scan. And what this means is I'm going to select yes, and it'll give us a little dialog that will tell us what this means. If I'm scanning a room, and I'm scanning it, say, every four inches, and I'm, this point, part of the scan is two inches away from the corner, and this part of the scan is two inches away from the corner, technically it's four inches, but we've missed the corner. So now this feature allows me to go back and select the corner. So if I were to click OK and zoom in on this scan, you can see maybe I want to get a little bit better detail between point this point and this point. If I deselect everything on the bottom and go to point 15 and go back into the viewfinder and you can see point 15 is selected, I can go to a little bit past point 15 maybe zoom in a little bit so that we can see that we're really in between point 15 and 16 and I can take this point point. and you'll see point 16 has now appeared say I want to put a little bit more detail between point 16 and 17 
I can do that as well. You can do this as many times as you want. The important thing to remember when you're doing this, though, is when you are done, you need to hit this checkbox. When you hit the checkbox, it will complete the automated scan, and you can continue scanning the rest of the room. Again, this was Adam with AdvancedDimensions.com. Thanks for watching.